It has been 24 hours since the spring campaign released. Already people have grinded these tracks and set some really good records, but a few maps in particular have really cool shortcuts. Map 11. Here is, as far as I know, the normal way world record, driven by iFreezer. Let's take a look. Let's put on some game sound. He gets a lot of speed through this first corner, goes full speed. Speed slide on the grass, upper gear, clean line through the loop. Basically the only full speed map in this campaign. <laughs> nice line here, keeping fifth gear speed sliding towards the roller coaster part and then driving through the last stuff here, going through the slow motion, dropping down into the plastic and uh, driving to the finish. Now, <laughs> I am sorry to say if you guys enjoyed playing this map because Crude here beat that time by over 1.3 seconds. Let's Let's take a look. So in the start here, he does a little bit of a worse wiggle and then also drifts here, so super far behind. He's so far behind, how is he going to recover this? Well, uh, you see there happens to be a uh, slow motion block in the ending and a bit of a gap between this checkpoint and the next so he can jump out of the quarter pipe, fly with the reactor and get into this checkpoint directly landing and driving into the finish. So that already looks pretty cool, but the shortcut has to be done in camera three. This is how you drive when you, you have to drive it like this. So you almost see nothing. Like you're looking at the sky and then, oh, hi, I landed. Okay, cool, I got world record, nice. But that <laughs> that is your point of view when playing the shortcut. I kind of want to try this. Oh wait, I need to get rid of my penguin car skin. Hang on a second. I don't think I can do the flight with Pengu. I don't, I really don't. Penguins cannot fly? No, they cannot. So right here, guys, is where the shortcut happens. You go into this and then <laughs> you jump here and you win. You just have to land down there. Very simple process. How did they... But you don't... Oh, I made it. But <laughs> bad line. So this would not be faster. I don't know if I want to hunt this anymore. I think I want... <laughs> I changed my mind. <laughs> okay, we'll give it a try, but... but there's 25 maps to uh, discover, guys. There's going to be a lot to, uh, to learn in this campaign. I am actually very motivated about trying to get good records, though. Um, last campaign, I only hunted map 20. And it was like a super dank shortcut track. But this campaign, I maybe want to also hunt more regular tracks and just see if I can get some good times on them. <laughs> okay, I'm actually landing in the gap. This is the second time I landed it. He flew very low here. There! Oh, did you see how close I was? Maybe not, because it's force camera three, but... <gasps> Hell yeah, okay. Something like that, you know? I feel like um, a Red Bull, like, wingsuit, you know? Just flying through, down like, uh, down a valley. Gotta join MM soon? Yeah, I will play some matchmaking probably. After hunting the maps a lot. I kind of like that approach more. Like getting good at the maps first and then just crushing. But, um, we'll see. So here, here, wingsuit, Red Bull. No! <laughs> this was so close. We need a cameraman outside player view. Yeah, that's the thing about this map is it's forest camera. So if I get close attempts, I usually go into the replay editor to check how close they were. So uh, if we get a good one, uh, we'll check it. But how about a good one now in, in about 30 minutes? So here. No. <laughs> Wait a second. This was close, friends. How close? How close? Oh, no.
I basically landed it. Come on. Just needed the back wheel to be a tiny bit lower and it lands. Maybe this works easier with the Pingu skin. It's camera three, right? So it kind of shouldn't matter. Let's give it a try. <clears throat> Do you guys realize we're actively trolling? Because now, if I get the sh there's no way I'm gonna drive a broad record pace run up until the shortcut. And so we're just gonna get a bad shortcut time. I think we need to be more serious. No. No. No way! <laughs> I'm so sad! I called out that this would happen! I got third world with the Pengu car skin! Why did we do this? I think we just proved that penguins can fly. This is scientific evidence. I mean, look at it. Look at him go. <laughs> I'm, I, I don't think I want to improve this. It's a point sixty nine as well. Any tips to get better? You've seen me play with a Pengu car skin. You, you just gotta get in the hours. You just gotta practice your essentials and you can drive with anything. There is another shortcut, and Corny is known to uh, obliterate some maps. Before we check out him, let's see the world record, the normal way. It's on this map, which I thought would be one of the coolest maps. Here you have Blood Avicom versus Stally. It's a really cool track, it kind of looks like an agility course where you uh, go through all these uh, different gates and checkpoints, hop hop on the grass. Glada takes a very inside line. Stally will have more speed for this part. Sharp turns here and a difficult gear to uh, manage, but got it really clean. A slightly wide setup and then keeping the gear, speed slide towards the finish. And they go about equal. But uh, Stally got the regular way world record. What is the shortcut? Let's see this now from Corny's point of view. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't really think there's a shortcut here, because look, there's already three, four checkpoints in the first five seconds, and this keeps happening throughout the map. There's just checkpoints everywhere, so you're kind of forced to go along with this path. But there is one corner that is particularly sharper than the others. And it's coming up right here, and so Corny, instead of slowing down, goes at full speed, hits the wall, does a twist, and lands back through the next checkpoint with way more speed. And then he's able to hold on to this lead towards the finish and save 0 0.2 of a second. Or 0 0.3 of a second, but overall the run ends up being just a few hundredths faster. It requires a lot of precision too, I think, to land. Because you get pulled down here and then you have to stabilize. Now let's try the other shortcut, map 16. Use the Pengu skin, I can never top it. I will never use the Pengu skin again. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta know when to quit when you're ahead. What I just did is, is winning a million dollars at the lottery, and then you're like, buy another ticket. It, it will not happen. I cannot win again. Although there was a guy who did this, right? In Australia or something. He won the lottery. <laughs> Guys, do I buy a lottery ticket today or what? Is this my day? Is today my day where I can just... Lit literally anything goes my way today. <laughs> I feel like I have superpowers. 0.18 PB, that's still a PB. Am I cooler than Famaterasu and Zulus? Absolutely. And sometimes it's about the style points, not about your final time. Couple today in one minute, so we'll do one more run, and surely this short is gonna work too. Just boom. Okay, then. I'm, I'm skipping, I think. I feel the freedom. Couple of the day does not control me. I control whether I want to play or not. I think that's the only way couple of the day is going to be fun for me. 
If I force myself to play every single one, even if I don't enjoy the map, I'm just not gonna have that much fun. <laughs> Instead, we can do cool wicked flips and get top records in the campaign. Which is something I'd much rather spend my time on today. <gasps> no. Oh, yeah. oh, double flip. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay. Also, is it not crazy, guys? A map with 18 checkpoints in 42 seconds. A checkpoint average of about one every two point, you know, something seconds of driving. Got shortcut. That's like a factor I look at when I try to shortcut maps is how many checkpoints per second. Usually you'll have like a 40 second map with four checkpoints. Okay. Easily shortcut. 40 seconds with 18 checkpoints? And a shortcut is just unreal. But you also have one reactor booster and that tends to cause problems. And then here and here and here and... I feel like a Rocket League individual who just learned how to do the new uh, spinny strat. I was gonna say the name of the air roll, but I forgot. Moi guys, Chaser here. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do tornado spin aerial. This trick isn't really a new one. Have you ever found a shortcut yourself on a campaign map? Yes, several. Uh, not maybe so much in Trickmania 2020, but in Nations Forever, I've found a lot of shortcuts. I found a, uh, at the time, best route on EO2. I found CO7 shortcut. I've helped find some other ones too. Oh. Pause. Nice. PB top 59. I still didn't really get the shortcut though. I gotta see this comparison. This will probably look pretty interesting. Did I gain time with... I gained so much time with this. Even though I didn't like nail the jump. <laughs> Even this gains time versus normal way. I think we just... Uh... Like, I, at this point, I don't want to hit it in a slow run either, so we just continue every run until we get there. Now that is a nice start, I think. Yes. 19.5, getting faster. Okay, hello. That is so scam. Oh, you don't even know what happened. I clipped the front of a plastic tile, but right here my wheel clipped. Do you see that? This is not natural. Very unexpected movement. I think I'm also at a level where if I really try normal way, I can get a good normal way time. If I really try to optimize normal way. <laughs> This was point two I had in the first couple of checkpoints. But it's not a little boring to play normally when there's something so much cooler on this map. I remember how inconsistent though. The thing is guys, I remember how inconsistent map 20 last season. I played it for 66 hours total. The first one hour I was just constantly confused. How does the second shortcut work? This never works. I can never get the right landing. By the end of the season, I could get it every time. It always takes time to learn a trick. Okay. I'm gonna try a normal way run. Guys, I can PB so easily normal way. I can, I can already see it. It's frustrating me that I can very easily PB right now just by doing one normal way run. That's clean. Oh, what a line, what a line. Is 
This is gonna be PB, I think. Very lean. Very, very lean. But, uh, <laughs> I, I did... I, I did feel it. It is a top 10, though, but, you know, like... I want to hit the shortcut. Gets top 10 and calls it lame. Was it not? I could do a 360 flight spin or just like mid splits and mid end. Guys, earlier today I watched a video of uh, Green Suiji. Who set a world record for a stage in Mario 64. And his final time was exactly... 420.69 4 minutes 20 seconds and 69 hundredths and I think it may be one of the best speedruns ever performed <laughs> the fact that that lines up for like almost a perfect world record is insane This was less lame, but still lame. Seventh. Oh, guys, so we play something else than 16. I have a good PV there. I really want to get it, but it's like, ugh. It's so brain rot. If you get the cut, it's a cooler video. I know. I think I want to see more people get it, and then maybe someone understands it better.